Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. Haptic feedback is the vibration you hear or feel for system controls and interactions, such as emergency alerts, changing the home screen, and more. In this video, I will show you how to turn the vibration on or off on your iPhone according to your preferences. Let's go! Depending on your current preferences, iOS 17 offers different configurations that let you enable or disable vibration on your iPhone. For instance, if you put your iPhone on silent mode, it will vibrate when you receive notifications or alerts for incoming calls or messages. Note that silent mode is triggered by the top button on the left side of your device. When you see that the background is red, it means that silent mode is currently active. To change it, open Settings and navigate to Sounds and Haptics. For your ringtones or alerts, go to the Haptics menu and choose the mode you need. Select Always Play if you want the device to vibrate whether it is in silent mode or not. Set it to Play in Silent Mode so that you will only receive a vibration when the configuration is activated. Or, if you don't want to allow vibration even when silent mode is on, set Don't Play in Silent Mode instead. To completely disable vibration for your ringtone, choose Never Play. There is also an alternative configuration that allows you to set the vibration status on your device. Return to the Sounds and Haptics page. Scroll down and toggle off System Haptics. When disabled, you won't hear or feel vibrations for system controls, interactions, or incoming calls or alerts. But note that your device will still vibrate for emergency alerts such as tsunamis, earthquakes, or other crises. Next, go back to the Settings main page. And this time, open the Accessibility menu. Select Touch and toggle off Vibration. Once switched off, all vibrations, including emergency notices, are disabled. Okay, if I've been able to assist you, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you enjoy taking photos and videos with your iPhone, please visit my website. Over the last few months, I've created a video course where I've gathered the best tips and tricks on how to make the most out of your iPhone for photography. You'll find the link to the website in the video description. Until next time, bye!